I thought squash was one of the easiest veggies to grow, and mine did fairly well last year, although I had one plant that always looked like it was wilting no matter how much I watered it, and it finally just bit the dust. Danielle said all I needed to save it was a pair of pantyhose. I swear, sometimes that girl is pretty nutty. You know, you keep laughing at me, but pantyhose can be a gardener's best friend. Well, I'm glad these itchy things are good for something, but I don't understand how it will prevent wilt. Well, actually, it's not that you had a watering problem with your wilt last year. It's actually that you got infected with a squash borer. Oh, that sounds gross. What does it look like? Oh, it's the grossest bug on the face of the planet. It actually looks like a giant white maggot. Ugh, what a lovely image. Okay, so how do the pantyhose prevent squash borers? Let me show you how. Squash vine borers overwinter in the soil in tough black cocoons and emerge in the spring as orange and black moths. These moths lay small eggs at the base stem of your squash plants. The eggs hatch into maggot-like borers which tunnel into the stems and start to kill the plant from the inside. The best defense is to put a protective barrier in place so the borer can't tunnel into the squash vine. Cut up a piece of the pantyhose and wrap it around the base of the stem. The barrier should start just below the soil level and rise at least four to six inches up the stem. If you have trouble keeping the nylon stockings in place, you can use straight pins to secure them. Okay, there we Looks go. Looks good. What about these littler ones that I just planted last week? You know what, it's a little early on those yet. You wanna wait until the squash is put on a couple sets of true leaves before you try the pantyhose trick. Okay. And this won't cut off the circulation on these bigger ones even as they grow and the stems swell? No, because think about when you put your legs inside the stockings, how much they expand. That's what it's going to do around the squash stem. I've read you can cut off the bottom of a paper cup and basically use that cylinder to protect your plants. Would that work too? I've heard about that trick. I've never tried it myself, but I think that that would be a good alternative if you don't have any stockings lying around. Which I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens if the squash borer still gets through this barrier? Okay, so last resort, what you can do is perform squash surgery. Yeah, I know, it sounds a little complicated. If you go and you notice that the wilting is starting to happen to your squash plants, you can actually examine the stem, look for a tiny hole with some sawdust-like debris around it, and that means a borer has entered. So where that sawdust is, you take a knife, you slit the squash stem open, peel it back and you'll actually see that maggot-like borer. Ugh. Take it out, squish it, and then bury the squash stem over with some soil. And the squash plant su should survive and you'll be borer free. I hope it does not come to that. Oh gosh, me too. All right, well, I think we can let Juno outside now. I had a feeling we were gonna have some tug of war problems if we let her outside when we were playing with pantyhose. <laughs>